Ringman unit initially introduced in United Kingdom. But now if you look, it is widely used in majority of the countries. Even if you live in an urban area, you can just roam around and you will find this device installed near you, the ring main unit. And in this video, we are going to talk about the ring main units. We'll talk about what is ring main unit, what is their function, why do we need it, what are the different parts that we are using. Uh, then we will talk about the advantages, application and many other things. So if you want to get this detail, then you need to watch the video. Now, before you understand what is ring main unit, there are few terms that you should be aware. Let's talk about that. Now, uh, we already talked about the service main, the distributor and the feeder in the previous video. If you haven't watched that, I'll provide link for that down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. Here, I'll quickly brief you about what are these things. So the first thing is the service main. Now the cable that connects your house to the distribution, the supply of uh, the company that is providing you the power is what we call as the service main. So you will see a cable is coming from let's say a distribution pole to your house and getting connected to your meter. That is called as the service main, right? Now, of course, the service main would be getting the power from somewhere, right? And the thing or the cable that powers the service main is what we call as the distributor. Clear? So these are the distributor. You will see there are tappings taken from the distributors and that is given to the different different loads that is available. Now, of course, for sure, the distributor would also be getting power from somewhere and the cable or the conductor that connect that powers the distributor is what we call as the feeder right since it is feeding power to different distributor it is called as the feeder now the feeder will directly be coming from let's say a distributor distribution substation so here is the example let's say this is our distribution substation a feeder is directly coming uh, from distribution substation and giving power to the different distributor that are there now, these are the three important things that you should know because we are going to talk uh, about these three things in the video. So that is feeder, distributor and the service main. Now, when we talk about the distribution system that we have, uh, majorly two types of distribution networks are used. One is the radial type distribution network or it is also called as the tree type uh, network. So what you can see on your screen is basically the example of the radial or the tree type distribution network now the advantages of this network is that it is the most commonly used in rural areas and it is the cheapest one and very very easy to install so you see we only have one main feeder here and that one main feeder is powering the distrib different different distributor that we have right but the problem with this type of network is reliability if something goes wrong let's say with this feeder then the whole supply, the whole load is gone. The whole load will not receive the power, right? That is the biggest issue with this type of uh, distribution network. Since it is powered by the only one main feeder, if something goes wrong with that feeder, the whole load will be losing the power, right? That's the biggest disadvantages that we have. Now to overcome this disadvantages, there is one more uh, network that is most commonly used and that is called as the ring main network or it is also called as the loop uh, type network. So what you can see on your screen is the example of the loop type network. Now what we have done here is we have taken two feeders from the substation so feeder 1 or feeder 2 or it may happen like there will be two different substation feeder 1 is coming from substation 1 and feeder 2 is coming from substation 2 that is also possible. So from this, you can see we have created a loop here. So each of the load here is getting power from the two different sources that we have. Let's say, for example, this is our load one. It is getting power from feeder one. And if something goes wrong with the feeder one, you can still fade this load via the feeder two, right? So that is the advantages of having this type of a loop or a ring main system. But this system, what you can see right here is still not the perfect system it's still not the choice because we have not provided any switches uh, to the system 
So if something goes wrong with the feeder one and I want to disconnect this area, there is no possibility because there is no switch provided. Also, the transformer is one of my important equipment, one of the expensive equipment, but there is no protection provided to this transformer as well. So definitely this is still not my choice of the system. So how we can make it better? We can make it better by simply installing the switches and a circuit breaker that will protect the transformer. So here is one example. So here I have installed one switch. Here is also one more switch and to protect the transformer I have installed a circuit breaker or maybe I can use a load break switch with fuse LBS. Uh, it will have fuses instead. So everything if the fault occurs you need to change the fuses with circuit breaker you don't need to do that so i have installed three switches here basically so this is one this is two and this is the third one which is the circuit breaker now by installing the switches what i did is if let's say something goes wrong in the feeder one i can open the switch one and take the supply for, by closing the switch two and continue feeding my load that i have now this is much more reliable, much more secure than the previous version that we saw, right? And that is the advantage of having this type of system is that it is more secure, more reliable, right? Now what we discussed is the brief about these two different types of distribution network. Now if you want me to make a dedicated videos explaining these two types of distribution networks, then do comment distribution network in the comment box. If I get enough comments, definitely I'll be making videos on that as well. So we installed three switches. Now what I did is, let's say I combined these three switches into a one switch gear. And that is what we call as the ring main unit or the RMU, right? I've combined these switches. This is switch one, switch two, and then the circuit breaker. I've combined it as a one unit and that is what I call as the ring main unit. It is very, very important device and very, very functional, very useful when we are using a ring main type of distribution network, underground cables are running. This device is really a lifesaver. We'll talk about that uh, in the coming slides. So this is how the ring main unit looks. Now it is not necessary that it will look only like this. This is just an example that I'm giving. Uh, the look may vary based on the different different manufacturer. So here is our let's say switch one that we have. This would be let's say switch two and this will be our circuit breaker that is uh, you know connected to the transformer that is protecting the transformer. Now how this ring main unit you know performs and why do we need it let us understand that so here is the example of again a ring main distribution network so we have feeder one we have feeder two here so we have two loads load one and load two which is connected via rmu1 and rmu2 respectively now in a regular situation the power will flow like this you see the green line it is going through feeder one rmu1 then the transformer and to the load one right this is the regular situation but let's say in case something goes wrong with the feeder one, there is a fault. Now in this situation, if you had, let's say a radial system or a tree system, then the complete load is gone. But because we have a closed loop, uh, uh, two different feeders, we can still fade the load one via the feeder two. How is that? Let us see. So now what I did is I opened this switch of the RMU. So I open this switch. Then I close this switch, which is there in between. Now the power is flowing through a feeder to RMU3, then RMU2. From RMU2, it is going to RMU1, the transformer and to the load. So thereby we maintain the continuity of the supply. The security of supply is there. And that is the reason why the ring main unit plays a very, very important role in the uh, distribution network. Uh, if it is used, let's say the radial or uh, not radial, the ring type or the it is also called as the loop type network all right very very useful device the ring main unit so this is how it would be connected to the transformer so let's say this is our incoming this is from where the power is coming the second switch may be giving power to the rmu2 or maybe any other feeder and then the third feeder uh, the third uh, 
block what you can see here is providing the transformer to a uh, protection to the transformer right this is how it is connected now let us understand uh, what are the different parts that are there in the ringman unit using the single line diagram so what you can see here is one example of a single line diagram of a ringman unit so here is our uh, first branch let's say now here we have used a three position switch which is used for switching the supply so this position right here you can say it's the position one which is the neutral position nothing is happening uh, the second position is you can close this switch and the supply will flow through the system and the third position is you can close it to this side which is earthing uh, which is the earthing switch right so it's a three position switch the neutral position the closed position and the earthing position right so that is switch one the second uh, branch also what you can see the similar switch that we are using three position closed neutral and earthing the third uh, branch that you can see is the circuit breaker branch so here we have used a circuit breaker uh, circuit breaker is here there is also a disconnector along with the earthing switch and we also have a current transformer here which is giving the inputs directly to the uh, circuit breaker in case something goes wrong it will detect and the circuit breaker will trip now these are the main things main parts that you will see different switches the circuit breaker current transformer it will also have let's say voltage transformer it can have different relays which senses the different voltage situation it will it may have voltage sensors and there are a lot of other things that you will find in the ring main unit very very uh, i would say functional because it is closed inside one metal cubicle everything is there in one box so that is the reason why it is very very useful now before we talk about the different advantages of the ring main unit let us highlight some of the key uh, points that we talked about the ring main unit so the first one is it is a switch gear which combines the multiple switching functions and also provides protection to the transformer so you see here we have one switch second switch and then the circuit breaker so multiple switching we are combining into one switch gear along with the protection to the transformer now important point to note here is that since it has three different functions the switch one switch two and the circuit breaker it is also called as the three function rmu now not necessary all the rmus will be of three function uh, there is a possibility that it will only have one function so let's say maybe only the transformer protection function and that is when we call it as single function rmu but what you can see this example is the three function rmu because we are using three different functions uh, in this rmu just remember that the second point is the fact it is factory assembled metal enclosed switch gear so when it is delivered it will be delivered uh, completely assembled in the factory and it will be completely enclosed in metal so you need not to do any modification at sites you can simply put it on the foundation install and then you are good to go right the next point is uh, it is used at the load point in the ring main network very very important point this is used at the load point where the transformer is connected and used in a ring main network you will not find this device generally in the radial type uh, distribution network hence in the ruler areas you may not find this device but in the urban areas where the population is very high you will definitely notice this device uh, installed somewhere near to you right next is it can pro it can be indoor type or outdoor type so both the options are available it can have an indoor application or it can also have an outdoor application protection to the transformer can be provided via a circuit breaker or via a load break switch with the help of the fuse so when you use a load break switch and the fuse it is cheaper option compared to the circuit breaker but it is less reliable than the circuit breaker of course because it is using the fuses these are some of the important points about the ring main unit now let us talk about the different advantages it offers so the first advantage is, is definitely it is much more safer and secure it is enclosed in a cubicle metal enclosed cubicle so definitely it is safer and uh, since we are combining three switches the switch one switch two and the circuit breaker for transformer uh, you also need an insulating medium let's say it can have sf6 free sf6 uh, gas 
so it will have one tank sf6 gas is filled in that tank and the three switches are there so it is definitely much more safer reliable also now as i mentioned it can have sf6 gas or nowadays everybody is talking about going sf6 free so there are options available where sf6 gas is not used completely environment friendly gases are used and if you are interested to understand why everybody wants to go sf6 free whether there are sf6 free switchgear available you can go and join my free webinar on courses.delectricalguide.in uh, link is provided down in the description you can go and check it out after this video so that is one safe and secure the next thing it offers a better performance so definitely it is as i mentioned it is it can be uh, you know installed in the sf6 gas which is uh, giving the uh, insulating medium also and a switching medium also it performs better it less requires very very less uh, maintenance so definitely the performance is far better than any other alternative options that are available it requires less maintenance as i mentioned once you install it since it is metal enclosed it do not require uh, frequent maintenance so that is another advantage the next is it is very very compact uh, you can just roam around and see how compact it is but of course the compactness may vary based on the voltage rating so just keep that thing in mind the next one is suitable for the different environmental conditions it can be used in monsoon summer snow no worries because it is enclosed and it will also come with a dedicated ip rating which protects uh, the inside equipment from the different environmental conditions the next is easy installation so as i mentioned initially it is factory assembled so you need not to do anything when you get it on site you just put it uh, on the foundation install it attach the cables and you are good to go very very easy installation so these are some of the advantages the ring main unit offers uh, if we talk about the disadvantages i am not sure if it is a disadvantages but of course this thing is costly now if you compare it with the different two pole structures that we use in the tree uh, distribution network it will be much much cheaper compared to the ring main unit but if you look at all the advantages that it offers then definitely i think the cost or the price is worth having that right so that is some of the advantages now let's talk about the application of ring main unit so it is majorly as i mentioned distribution secondary power distribution a uh, lot of rmus you will see it can be used in hospital malls commercial buildings even in the residential buildings a uh, wide range of buildings can have the ring main unit solar and wind power plants where the power generation happens at much lower voltages it can be used in different infrastructures also the airports railway stations and many other things now these are some of the applications that i have listed here but the rmu can have tons of application uh, in the field so you name it and the rmu can have uh, the application of that in that particular field right so that is the brief about the ring main unit but if you want me to make dedicated video series explaining everything about the ring main unit like what are the different parts in detail what is extensible rmu what is non extensible rmu uh, then comment rmu series in the comment section if i get enough comments then definitely i'll be creating a whole series of the videos explaining about the ring main unit and also do check out courses.delectricalguide.in as you will find the courses related to high voltage switchgear medium voltage switchgear on that website so definitely go and check it out right so that is all about the rmu for this video i hope you found it useful if you find it useful then definitely click on the like button do share it uh, with the people you think might be interested in knowing about the ring main unit so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning